Hi, and welcome to class 13 of Science Fiction Filmmaking 101. In this class, I'm going to talk about shooting coverage for editorial to help tell the story. Now, of course, as a director, I always have my shot list for all the essential shots I need to make the scene. But often, things evolve further in the edit. So, getting the extra coverage is always on my mind. And because of the loose way I like to shoot, I always find the opportunities to grab additional angles to help with the edit later. Having two cameras help massively when it comes to coverage, but you also have to remember, for each additional camera, you need to budget in a camera operator, a camera assistant, and a focus puller, along with other additional equipment for each camera. But depending on the style of the shoot, your camera operator may be able to pull focus while also operating, which was the case for the Beyond and Sync. But for Origin Unknown, due to the traditional cinematic approach we were taking, we needed the full package for each camera, which was quite expensive due to the fact we were shooting on Arri Alexas with cook lenses. Which is why on that film, we limited our two cameras on certain days, whereas the rest of the days we were shooting on a single camera. So with that in mind, we found a workaround that fitted our budget on that day for the scenes involving interaction between the human and the robot character. Now I had the main A camera being the Alexa shooting a human character, and then we rigged a small, affordable Blackmagic pocket camera on the railings, same height as where the CG robot will be. The actor can then look up at it while we capture the robot POV, reverse angle of the conversation, simultaneously shooting the main angle of the human actor. The robot POV camera didn't need to match quality or sensor-wise with the Alexa, because the POV was always going to be treated a lot in VFX to create that robot vision. For the intense action-packed shootout scene in the short film Sync, we had a limited time available in that location, but had so much coverage I wanted to shoot in order to make the action work later in the edit. So I had two cameras and two operators running at the same time, sometimes shooting action coverage from different parts of the set simultaneously, as it didn't matter for sound, as there was no dialogue since it's all action and sound design. This allowed for so much coverage and material to be shot in such a short amount of time. In the beyond, the dramatic interview scenes were often improvised by the actors, so I wanted to capture the takes from both sides at the same time. Due to the improv nature, I just knew the next take would never be the same if I wanted to do the reverse angle of the other guy. So to solve that, we had two cameras capturing the drama in from both camera angles simultaneously, so that in the edit we would always maintain that same back and forth energy in the drama. If you shoot as much inserts and cutaways as possible, then your editor is going to love you. And because I shoot with an editorial mindset, I always have a B cam shooting that stuff whilst an A cam is shooting the main shots. These inserts help break up scenes for variety, but also can help to cut between shots to help make a scene work editorially. For the beyond, for every setup I had one camera operator just shooting loosely a bunch of close-ups of hands, props, angles, even screen graphics, which are quite random, but will definitely help in the edit to provide a variety and energy in the editing. So during editorial of the beyond, I was scheduled to be in Malaysia to give a conference talk about visual effects and filmmaking. On my downtime there, I decided to contact the student film department and drama school department in the university I was given the talk in, and I used the opportunity to shoot additional footage, which not only made the film feel bigger, with variety, but also gave it a more international feel. So my point is, always grab opportunities to shoot material, even during editorial, to help shape your film.